wonderful session today. I really think, I think so. We've made a lot of progress. I do too. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I really think that that this week we're going to make a lot of progress, Romeo and I. I mean, we don't have it all figured out, but there's love there. I'll just throw this out here. But if you ever, you know, the missus and I would love to have you guys over. We'll have fondue and then maybe do a oh, little, that sounds lovely. little swapsies or something, you know. And um, because uh, um, I know my wife would totally be into you and I would, I would nail that Romeo to the wall. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, yeah, he wouldn't know what hit him. Ain't be sore for weeks. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> As far as genetics, uh, you know that old saying, the maid's garter matches the mother's? Absolutely. Um, Lady Capulet is robust, to say the least. Okay, and, and what I'm, concerns you about her well, figure? Well, um, I'm wondering uh, if Juliet is going to inflate as the years go on. By that I mean get really fat. Okay. Because I couldn't deal with a fat girl. I'm not into that. <laughs> Pushing for the cushion is not my deal. Well, you know, a little cushion sometimes doesn't, uh, doesn't hurt. So you're saying don't get her pregnant? No. That's not exactly what I thought. What, oh. what do you expect a woman's body to be like? Oh, well, you know, I mean, 32, 28, 32, I think is the Standard, right? I mean, that's what I've always gone for. Anything above that, and we're tossing that out with the wash and the baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, men are just great. We are. I think we're awesome. <laughs> we use logic and reason. What would you women do without us? <laughs>